What's up, my beardos and weirdos? One topic here. And today we're diving into r slash British problems. <laughs> Let's get started. You're not cooking a shepherd's pie. You've got beef in that pot. Since when did shepherds herd cows? You're cooking a cottage pie. Getting given a minor in your driving test for saying, Ah, oh, this takes me back. When putting the car into reverse. Don't know why they gave me a minor. Just, you know, just tossed it right in the boot. <laughs> that was a new train driver on the route. He stops 10 metres further up the platform than before. Watching 300 people have their routine waiting place be f <laughs> with his hilarious early morning tuts ahoy! <laughs> Lying in bed at 3 a.m., still unable to sleep because the room is roasting and there's a bunch of bastarding seagulls outside screaming what I can only imagine is bird language for I'm a massive tw. <laughs> what? Local waitros closed for almost two days due to drainage problems. There's nothing online, just a handwritten note on the doors, which every new arrival squints at, even if they've been told it's closed. Middle classes are flouncing around the car park in mild disbelief, arms flailing. Nightmare! And it, it's open. Stampede for the quail's eggs. Not knowing whether your clothes are still wet or just cold when hung out on the washing line. Failing to introduce yourself to the new person at work within the first few days and having to completely avoid them for the rest of your working relationship. This is surprisingly relatable. I've made this mistake many a time at my current place of employment. I just don't talk to them. <laughs> I'll sit in the corner with my headphones on and I don't say a thing. <laughs> You'll never catch me now. <laughs> You'll never catch me now! Those lorries that bomb down the right hand lane at 62 miles per hour to overtake the other lorry doing 61 miles per hour. Waking up to find the heating on. A gale howling outside in a mildly flooded garden. Having he put on the winter coat as he step out into a wall of rain leaving the house for the commute. Same as here, folks. Builders in. Offer a tea. Get. No, mate, never touch the stuff. I say, so, you're a teetotal? <laughs> ah! He replies, you what, mate? I apologise for the shite joke and tell him he must get that all the time. He says, no, mate, I don't know what you mean. So now I'm too scared to talk to him. <laughs> They're still here. They've never left. I'm still a firm believer that you should be euthanized if you bring a trolley into the self-service pot of a supermarket. Oi, they're down at f***ing Nando's with a shopping trolley. I went to the cinema on the weekend and the start was delayed because there was a fight in the previous screening. The previous screening was a late afternoon showing of Toy Story 4. They were probably fighting over Duke Kaboom. The best stuntman from Canada. I walk to work and colleagues often pull up beside me and give me a lift if they see me. Today, a car pulled up beside me. I opened the door and got in. It wasn't anyone I knew. It was a guy who was going to ask for directions. I'm still cringing now. <laughs> Time to integrate or fake your own death. Buying booze at the self-checkout in Tesco and feeling slightly abused by the attendant when they press the button marked clearly over 25. It may as well have who the f*** do they think they're kidding written underneath. I know that feeling. I got not carded for the first time in my life. I was down at the pub with my friends getting some beer and they didn't ask me for my card. What the f***? <laughs> When you keep hearing a low, distant rumble and think a thunderstorm is approaching, then realise it's really been night. <laughs> Thanks for the reminder. Oi, don't worry, Tom. Now fuck <laughs> off. All four sits me through five minutes of adverts, then tells me that the content I want to watch is currently unavailable. Did a £2 scratch? 
Used a quid to scratch it. One, two pounds. Dropped the quid and it rolled into a drain. Net loss. The cold side of me pillow is no longer cold, and I'm worried I'll never sleep again. Me wife overpronounces every Italian dish whenever we go out, but I order an Indian dish in an authentic accent, and suddenly I'm embarrassing her. Jeremy, that's not the f***ing point. Listen, Linda, if I want f***ing Nando's, I'm gonna order it how we like. Having all the windows open so you don't suffocate in the heat at home, but then being totally defenceless to the constant sound of cars being unnecessarily revved to extraordinary decibels by men suffering from small dicker syndrome. Alright, I thought it'd be valuable to take just a wee moment aside to talk to you about wee dicker syndrome. Now, it's, it's quite possible for these men to have a large willy, a large tallywhacker, and still feel the need to promote themselves as if they have as if they, they're overcompensating for something, but you, you can have a wee willy on the inside. It doesn't have to be on the outside. Like I have an emotionally small willy. Quick shout out to all the emotionally small willy kings out there. Now stop raving your f***ing engines! Curling up in the driveway at the same time as your neighbour and proceed to fiddle around with imaginary objects in the glove compartment till they've gone inside. There's nothing more frightening than needing to say hello to that f***ing neighbour Jeremy. I bet you'd like to be out in the sun right now. Yes, I would, Garen. But I'm here dealing with you, aren't I? You fucking cow. I'm going straight to a beer garden and down my first pint when I finish. People don't indicate on roundabouts. Seriously, there is zero excuse not to use your bloody indicator on a roundabout. The amount of times I have nearly been run over and almost killed by people who simply can't be arsed to use them is beyond a bloody joke. It's just pure f***ing laziness. All you need to do is flick it up or down to show people what you intend to do. Don't be a lazy c***. Neighbour told me my fancy new fence was banging. I said, uh, uh, cheers mate, I'm really happy with it. Turns out he meant the wind was making the panels bang in the night. Not that I'd done a banging job of putting it up. <laughs> Finally plucked up the courage to tell the drunk guy next to me on the bus to stop fiddling with the stranger in front of hood and to stop laughing so loud, only to find out he wasn't drunk and was actually mentally disabled and the guy in front was his carer. To add insult to injury, he took this as an opportunity to start messing with me now. I'm disabled. Oh, you are? Uh, we're kind of disabled, are you? Uh, leg disabled. Where's your chair? I don't know. Uh... I asked the cashier dressed as an elf at Tesco if he was in charge of elf and safety. <laughs> he turned and gave me a thousand yard stare as if he were longing for euthanasia. That's number wang. Euthanasia, that's number wang. Deciding between wanting Croatia to lose because they beat us. Are wanting France to lose because they're French. Oh, it's a bit footy right there. <laughs> Ten years ago, I mentioned to my OH's family. O O H. O H. Hmm. O H. Overly hospitable's family. <laughs> that I like cheese. It's Boxing Day, which means that we're going to visit them. And there'll be a cheese board that only I will eat whilst they all watch and comment on how much I like cheese. It's a predictable annual event now. <laughs> no, overly hospitable actually ended up being a good fit. <laughs> that sinking feeling when you have zero interest in football, but your child is developing a clear passion for it. Oh god, now I'll have to hang with the football dads. Oi oi. It's all good, Roy. You see that ludicrous display last night? What was that winger thinking? Sending Walcott on that early? The thing about Arsenal is, they always try to walk it in. Yeah, it's true. I'll see you later, Moss. Mind how you go. And then a ten pound note to the bus driver. And they look at you as if you just tried to pay with a f***ing uh? Spanish doubloon. 
A guy sat opposite me on the train shouted MATE to get me attention as I had forgotten something when I got up. He passed me the item and then apologised for being rude as he had to shout to get me attention. <laughs> so British it hurts. Shop at Lidl and Aldi and can't park as fast as the cashier throws it at you. The cashier has to stop to look up fruit and vegetables on the EPOS system, so leave them loose and tactically distribute them throughout the conveyor belt to give you valuable extra seconds. Also, great for the environment as you aren't using single-use plastic bags. <laughs> A well-known British electrical retailer just said that they couldn't install me new oven because the previous oven hadn't been wired up properly. Despite the fact that they wired up the last one. <laughs> My train was delayed this morning due to the fact that it was late from the depot. Being late is not a valid excuse for being late. <laughs> Have you tried turning it off and on again? <laughs> All right, my beardos and weirdos, that was our first dive into r slash British problems. What a crazy, silly, weird, random, awesome subreddit for us to dive into. <laughs> Thank you to all the people that have been suggesting it lately. That was a lot of fun. And <laughs> as someone with a very, very UK-based family, <laughs> a lot of this just gave me flashbacks to life. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, thank you so much for recommending this subreddit. I, I do read all the comments when I can. Sometimes there's just too gosh darn many. I do read all the comments when I can, and when people are just commenting the same thread over and over and over again, I'm there's a real good chance that I'm going to do that subreddit. And thank you to everyone who voted on the poll asking for this one. It's been great to see the level of engagement we've got and everyone letting me know what they want to see more than others. And I'm just happy to keep making things that people want to see. So if you have any good ideas, maybe keep an eye out for the next poll and <laughs> I'll let you know what we're going to be getting up to. Also, I realize that today I'm recording what is tomorrow's video, but today's Thursday and there's no gay in this video. So we might have to do a Tuesday. And, and and Thursday next week to make up for that. <laughs> I really appreciate all of you being so positive on these videos. And I, I love that people are reaching out to others in the comment section of these videos and giving each other kind of the hand up and, and just a little bit of a lift and a boost that they need. Now, if y'all can do me a favor and just go to the last couple of videos and keep an eye out for people that are looking for those kind of comments, that it would mean a lot to me. All right, and I want to thank the people that are making all of these videos possible. And that would be our patrons. Pink Monster, Moa, Avery, Stuart Milne, Mr. Big, Queen Saru, Love the Crunch, Faith Scott, Tabby Cat, Sam, Cat Curtis, Rosie Puplet, Ren, Sir Fiskin, Tammy Stern, Avery Aesthetic, Puckle Master, Megan RB, Juliana, Tammy Bledsoe, Kristen, I'm Gay, Percy, Ross Vegas, James George, Chris Duffy, Graham Rittenauer, Samuel Mendoza, Melissa Mabe, Don Princey 99, Effiart, Effiart, I have no idea. <laughs> Someone help me on that one. Fred Gomez, Ekron Vulture, Don Maples, Trey Atkins, AJ Whitworth. All of you are amazing, and I feel so honored that I get to be making these videos that make people happy. I. Heck, I started doing this for fun, and now that I see that other people are having fun, it's not just for me. And <laughs> I think that's just fantastic. Hey, did, 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 did you notice that I made a thing? I made a thing. You should, you should check out the thing that I made. <laughs> oh, and I did receive a lot of comments from people asking for rainbow-related stickers and merch. So, um, yeah, I'm going to try to work on some designs for that. Thank you so much for the people pinging me about that. But it does take quite a while for me to whip up some new designs, and I want to make sure they look good. So I appreciate your patience with that. <laughs> In the meantime, there is a pretty cool sticker there already. <laughs> Alright, my beardos and weirdos. We'll see you in the next video, where we take it one topic at a time. Roll that outro! I should bring that back. <laughs>
Hello, everybody. My name is Markiplier. 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 <laughs> All right, let's let's just get started. Come on, this is getting silly.